topic is about death. Death has never always settled well with me. Um, it's something that happens, but no one wants to happen. It's something that I avoid. It is something that scares me. It is something that wakes me up in the night. You know, Death is not something that I'm looking forward to. I don't think anybody looks forward to death, you know, really. It's one of those things that you just hate. Because, like, where do we go when we die? What happens? You know, there's so many questions. Some can be answered and some can be answered. But I'm here to tell you that you're not alone dealing with that. You know, losing a loved one, you know, even trying to lose yourself. It's something that is very scary. I hate it. It's not a fear of mine, but I don't like it. I hate death, but it's something that happens to all of us and we can't really do anything about it. If this was a perfect world to me, the only pe people that would die would be like pedophiles, killers, anybody that's trying to cause a ruckus in life. But unfortunately that doesn't happen. And bad things usually happen to good people. But the saying goes, all good things must come to an end. Well, that is true, but you, I do believe in rewards. I believe in reincarnation. I believe in a lot of things. <laughs> you know, but it's just one of those things that I hate talking about. I don't want it to happen to me or to anybody that I love, but it's something that just happens, you know. But what do you feel about it? You know, because I know how I feel about it. And it crushes my soul, but, you know, like the people that go missing, the people who get murdered, who didn't have a chance in life, you know, what happens to them? As a little kid, I think that you can deal with death easier because you just don't know what's going on, you just don't know what's going to happen. But as you get older, I think it's more harder to tolerate. Because it's like, how can you be there one moment and then just be gone forever? That's something that really gets, it really gets to me. It shouldn't, but it does. For me, I just hope I live my life right so I can go to the right place. You know, no one's perfect. We all do do things. But there's not a lot of people who are willing to correct what they do. You know, this is just a random topic. I didn't come with anything scripted or planned. I'm just speaking off the top of my head about topics that keep me up, keep me relevant in thinking. Um, what are your thoughts, comments, questions, concerns? Leave in the comment section below. I know it may sound like I'm whispering, but I'm not. This is just how I talk. But yeah, death is one of those things. You just hope the person comes back, even if you can see them for one more day. Even if you can risk it all, give it up, you would. 
So there's that one person that you would want to see again. Even if it means giving up everything. Because I would give up everything because all of this is material things. You can't take it with you when you die, so might as well give it up. Something to think about. You know, who am I? What am I talking about? What do I know? <laughs> I'm just making this video because who's ever dealing with it? I want you to know that I'm dealing with it too. Everything ain't always rainbows and sunshines with me. I do, do deal with things like this and depression and all types of things. <coughs> death is one of those things I, I try to avoid. I can't even listen to songs that relate to death because... Yeah. It's really, really, really bad. It gets to me. Yeah. And with all these police shootings and me being black, that's another thing that is overwhelming. It's just always, it's easy to die, but hard to live. Very hard to live. This universe works in opposites. Sad but true. So I just want to say, if you're dealing with death, you're not alone. Um, just this year, I had a friend that passed, and to deal with that and then I had to deal with a lot of stuff that was you know death related because we're always trying to watch you know what we eat how we live all the stuff that has to relate to death bungee jumping all of this stuff because you know death is the permanent thing that happens to us you know that's why you shouldn't commit suicide you know you don't want to have a temporary problem have a permanent effect on your life. Your life is a gift from God and you should treat it as such. I treat mine as such. You know, not every moment in life is going to be a Kodak moment, but every moment doesn't have to be gloomy, weathery storms. And that relates to death because when we lose a loved one, we tend to never see the sun shine again, but there always can be a brighter day. You know, all is not gone, and you'll see them one day soon. Patiently wait to see them in heaven. Um, it's a very touchy subject, but, you know, it's one of the things that happen in life, but we have to keep going on. We have to stay strong. And I'm here to be a supporter. So if there's any questions, comments, concerns, anything you'd like me to talk about, or if you want me to talk more about this topic, just leave it in the comment section below. I'm happy to talk about anything. This is one of the things that I never thought I was gonna talk about but a lot of people are dealing with it so I feel I had to talk about it and what happens to murder victims do they get a second chance in life I believe so I hope so yeah it does wake me up in the middle of the night these type of things wake me up because I want to know like what happens why do I have this, these feelings? Well, this has been your boy, Chris with the next. Take care. Peace.